How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Transformer 25. This is my first review of my G1 collection. I'll, I'll be basically going through uh, each individual transformer that I own uh, that's, in my, that's in my collection um, and I'll be letting you know which ones are missing parts. The ones I don't say anything, those are the ones I have complete. Um, so let's get started. We'll start with uh, Ironhide. He's missing his accessories. I do have his canopy. Um, right next to him we have Ratchet, a reissue. And right above that, on the first row, we have Cloudraker. Next to him we have Fastlane, missing his weapons. Hound, missing his weapons. Wheeljack, just have his missiles in one missile launcher. Mirage, Jazz, missing his gun. Sunstreaker, I'm sorry, not Sunstreaker. Uh, that's Sideswipe, missing his accessories. A reissue hoist. Trailbreaker, right above him we have Tracks. Now this is Sunstreaker. And we have Skids. A, re a reissue Red Alert. I uh, just have uh, his missile launcher. Smoke screen reissue. Blue streak. And prowl. And right next to him we have a target master cup. Above him we have perceptor. I'm missing his missile launcher. Rekgar. Blur and a triple changer broadside. Uh, missing, I only have one, his gun and missing his rest of his weapons plus as you can see I'm missing his glass shield. Uh, we have another triple changer sun, sunstorm, sandstorm, I'm sorry, sandstorm missing his gun. Reissue grapple, inferno, hot rod missing his guns and we have in the back Complete um, Jetfire, Headmaster Brainstorm, Long Call, Constructicon, and, a, and Rodimus Prime with the uh, repo labels. Another Headmaster, Chrome Dome, and a reissue Atomus Prime. Right there in the back is G Salt. Predaking. I'm missing some of his swords and some weapons. Now on the top shelf we have, I'll start with the mini bot, uh, the mini cons. Um, mini bots we have Beachcomber, Warpath, Sea Spray, Wind Charger, Cosmo, Power Glide, Cliff Jumper, Brawn, Bumblebee, Gears, Wheelie, and Huffer. And then we have a Battle Patrol uh, Microbot. Uh, I'm not sure what's his name, I forgot. I forgot, I can't remember his name. Uh, the cassettes, Autobot cassettes, we have Steel Jaw and Rewind. And in the back right there, in his radio mode, is Blaster. His uh, eject button is broken. I actually tried repairing it. It's actually broken, can't repair it. Um, we have here an original Soundwave tape decks broken. Uh, had to have them, had them for, got them for five bucks. Um, why not? And right there in the background, we have Ultra Magnus, the almighty Megatron in his gun mode with repo labels, and Shockwave also in gun mode. Then we have Six Shot missing his weapons. Gavitron, missing weapons. Gaul, missing weapons. And a reissue Soundwave with a reissue laser beak and an original uh, rumble. Now, let's start off at the top row. We have Skywarp and with repo labels. Starscream. Thundercracker, repo labels. Ramjet, 
dirge, thrust, and blitzwing. Missing is sword and missiles. At the bottom we have wingspan and pounce. In the background we have uh, frenzy, astro train, reflector, which is a spectral spyglass and viewfinder, a reissue ravage, and the insecticons, which is which are kickback, shrapnel, and bombshell. Now on the next shelf we have my only KO transformer that I own is Sludge, which I do regret getting. Uh, the only reason why I, I ended up buying him because I start, when I just started collecting them, I seen him. He was my favorite Dinobot, so I had to have him. Uh, one day I will get an original, but uh, so far for now I have him, which actually does look nice, but um, I still want to get an original. So we have Sludge, Grimlock, Grimlock Slag, Snarl, and Swoop. As you can, as you can see, Swoop has these little red lasers. I was told from the person I purchased it from, he told me that it was a special edition that came out when he was a kid. Um, basically that's all he knows about it. I've seen, I've seen it once before I actually purchased it on YouTube. I can't find the video review no more, but someone did mention the lasers one time. Um, if anyone out there can knows any, any information on these lasers or on this um, swoop, special edition if they could you know please drop a comment let me know really appreciate it and um, the Dinobots are actually my favorite uh, transformers the uh, I think they're so cool how they made dinosaurs into robots I, I guess that I think there's everyone's favorite uh, group of transformers um, we have here quick switch ape face missing his gun Computron, I uh, have, he's part of, he's about like 90, 96% complete. We have Defensor, I'm missing his fist, one fist, some weapons, and feet. And Superion, missing just the small weapons for the airplanes. Uh, right above, right behind Ape Face, we have Metroplex, uh, missing some missiles and some, a few weapons for the He's practically he's, he's about ninety six percent complete, and in the background we also have a also have a uh, an extra jet fire, um, just for parts. Um, now for the Decepticons, um, G Salt Miners we have Abominus, missing a few weapons. Menasaur. He was uh, my favorite of the combiners when he came out. I thought he was just awesome. Um, the cars. The uh, Decepticons car vehicles and turning into a combiner. Oh, I, thought, uh, I just thought it was awesome. Devastator missing some weapons, and he's the one that ended up becoming my favorite. A bomb. Uh, I'm sorry, not a bomb. This Bruticus. I thought it was just so cool that how he just it's military, all those guns, weapons on him. Uh, just I uh, just think he's awesome. Now, one of my main reasons why I wanted to uh, do one of these uh, video reviews of my collection was because I just wanted to um, share, share share my collection to the G1 fans or Transformer fans, um, what I what I have. And well, the other reason is uh, I ended up trading for a, uh, a Transformer. Uh, some I traded some autograph sports stuff to a, a, a cool guy that I met. Uh, for the Holy Grail of Transformers, which is Fortress Maximus. Now, uh, Fortress Maximus also came with this box. Uh, the box actually it's in it wasn't that bad of a. Uh, it looks worse than it is. I just noticed that it, some guy just put tape. He just put he ended up putting tape on it just so it won't open. And there was no really reason to put tape. Uh, if I if I know a way of taking it out, if anyone knows of taking this tape out without damaging the box please feel free to leave me a comment but uh, do the did come with the foam uh, which and like I said um, this uh, transformer here um, Fortress Maximus complete all original the only thing that I see wrong with this is uh, that it's a little yellow here and um, 
it didn't have his eyes. I had a re I had to order his um, eyes through Repo Labels, which I think just looks awesome with his eyes on there. Uh, I have his radar dish there, uh, Spike, um, Cerebros in his head mode, and his gun, and I think he's called uh, Cog. Um, like I said, this guy's nice and clean. Um, I think it was a good trade. Uh, um, and one thing I would like to mention, this guy actually has some die cast in him. Uh, I see a lot of reviews they do on Fortress Maximus and they don't really mention it, but his stomach right there, that's made out of die cast, which I think was pretty cool when I found out when I just when I ended up getting them. And that one little piece right there, that's die cast also. So I thought that was cool once I found that out. But uh, he just looks... Uh, Badass and is um is um, um showing off his weapons. Um, here we have uh, Optimus Prime 25th anniversary. Uh, thank you to my wife. I love you. She gave it to me uh, for my Christmas for Christmas a couple a few years back. Um, we have the box right here of uh, Jetfire, and we have a uh, Scorpion Ox. Scorpion Axe with an original um, Red Alert, mainly for parts. But uh, Scorpion Axe, main, uh, missing a few parts from him. Um, as you can see, I have his uh, little um, evil partner. I don't know what his name. forgot. But um, I will get his parts later. I ended up trading uh, Casco Grayskull. That only cost me $18. And I thought it was a, actually a good trade for uh, Casco Grayskull for Scorpion Axe. Um, we have here Skylinks. Skylinks uh, missing the base. The only thing wrong with this guy is uh, that um, it just has a hairline crack. I don't. Doesn't bother me. Um, for nine dollars, I thought it was. I had no problem with it. We have MP10 um, Optimus Prime Toys R Us edition. Um, we have Spike and Roller. The only issue I have with this Optimus Prime is that I can't get the chest to close properly um, but other than that I think he's a real cool looking transformer especially looking like the, exactly like the cartoon uh, there's this trailer I have here some monster bots the sparks work I ended up getting them at, at a good deal ten dollars uh, actually ten dollars a piece from uh, this one cool guy I met his name's Stu he's been uh, actually hooking me up with his transformers at real good prices the only thing that's missing is, uh, I know he told me he has one wing and his weapon, uh, which is grotesque. And we have here double cross. Uh, so I do have to go back to see if I can find his weapons and his wing. And here we have, I got from Stu, um, I got him at a great deal. We have dark wing and we have dread wing. I'm missing his weapons and his uh, their power masters. But... Um, Stu told me that he does have them. They just that they're somewhere in one of the boxes in his basement. So I really gotta dig for uh, dig for it and look for them. But uh, these guys, for I got them for five bucks a piece. How you know? On eBay they go for ooh, they're overpriced. But I just thought when I found out he said five bucks a piece, I had to jump on that. And uh, we have here my daughter's first transformer. I think it's a um, I forget what they're called, uh, rescue bots. Uh, he's pretty cool looking, Optimus Prime. He has a cool looking face. And uh, another thing here too is uh, the Fortress Maximus is an original. It's not uh, not the Encore reissue. Uh, that one doesn't come out till I think 2013 of March. So um, please feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, just uh, let me know and um, thanks